What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're out here at the Collie River boat ramp, fishing for some sharks, some, some rays, some mullies. Got Max, got Reese. We're, uh, we're gonna sit out here until like eight, nine o'clock and see if we get any. Yo! Hang on guys. This is long awaited. This is taking a float on the surface with a bit of bait on it. Just turn it off. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. All right, I'll grab it. Max. Oh, this is bait, boys. Good bait. Oh, big Taylor. Nice Taylor. Watch out. Your you idiot, you idiot. No, we're on the same thing. Are we? Yeah. What, what's yours feel like? No, Mac, they're on top of each other. Get away, you've got a strong line. I think it's a tailor. Is it? Maybe. Well. Oh, it's a, it's a Sophie. Sophie. You bidding on Max? Yeah. Do you, do you want me to go down the graphic? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right I'm there, right there. Right, let's sort this out. I, I've hooked it, I've hooked it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just on one. It's just on one. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's just on one. Oh, Luke, graphic. Yeah, watch out. Mac, mate, there's plenty of other holders. Wait, why there? <laughs> No, nah, you might just have to grab it. You just grab it. Is it yeah. good? Uh, decently. Just grab it. Quick, quick, quick. I could, I could get it. I was bringing it around too. Just yeah, grab it. Just tie it out if you want. No, gr grab the fish, not the line. Just grab it. Just grab it. Just grab it. Grab the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, Bailey, Jesus. not good. Not good. Legal. Just gonna have to grab it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I could, I could get him with the lift gap if you want. No, just, just grab it, just grab it. Just two hands, don't worry about gills or whatever. Just grab two hands. And just out, out, out. out. Good, lads. Good fish. Nice. Good fish. Excellent fish. Big soapy. Alright guys, so it's 6.48 right now, we've been fishing since midday, lunchtime, and uh, we moved different locations, we were over there, over there somewhere, now we're at a different place, we've got four rods in, Reese just caught a, a soapy baby mully on his whiting rig, and uh, Reese, talk us through it, what, what line, what everything? Uh, so we got a four pound braid, as you do, um, Daiwa Laguna. That's, it's a really good, cheap budget rod, only $80, and a Shimano Sienna reel, so a really cheap combo, accessible for everyone. So it doesn't, it tells you that you don't really need expensive gear to catch baby yeah. mullies. By the wing. And a very blunt knife. Extremely blunt. And just a little line all the way down the spine. So this is just to get your little imprint as a guide. Go through at the back. I've gone over the spine there. So nice and through again. Down onto the head, right down to the belly. You want to get all the meat off it. Don't want to waste anything. And again, just roll it down the back. You really gotta take your time with these sorts of fish, you know? Get every every bit of meat. Don't wanna waste anything. They're good eating fish. Okay, let's just retake. So suppose you haven't really filtered that many soapies before. I right? haven't. No? Yeah, this is a new experience for me. That and we're just so white. You just want to go along that backbone. Inch by inch. Oh, 
and we've hit a bone. Let's just make sure your knife is above that. There we go. It's always difficult getting the second fillet because the fish is not the same shape as when it has another side. And then push it right through. Finish it out the bat, it looks good. If you want to go along that backbone there, doesn't matter if you know you cut through the backbone or something, you'll still get it. Oh, it does. And then the same thing on the bottom. There you have it. Soapy fillets. There's a frame there, good fillet job. It's a nice, beautiful eating fillet. What we're doing now is we're just removing this middle part of the bloodline here. You just want to go like that. One line there, cut. One line there, on the other side, cut. And then this whole strip will come out. And then you want to skin it. And then, good to eat. So Reese is going to do it now. So now we've got that bloodline sliced out. And you should just be able to can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Just pull it straight out the middle. Hit a bit of a soft patch. That bloodline is just coming right out. There we go. Just like that, you got two good fillets. And now you can skin them.